reformulated their new sunscreen. Guys, Claire's released a new sunscreen. Now, if you don't know, Claire's actually had a famous sunscreen called the Claire's Soft Airy UV Essence SPF 50 Plus PA4 Plus. It made the game of sunscreen, it, it changed the game basically. This was the original Soft Airy UV Essence. It was this white bottle with beautiful metallic looking accents. And it was beautiful. It just laid on the skin, gave you that dewy finish, didn't sting your eyes, was great if you wore makeup. You could reapply it on top of your makeup. It was just amazing. It was, it was my favorite sunscreen, my favorite Korean sunscreen. But alas, a couple years ago, a lot of Korean sunscreens were not meeting the SPF rating labeled on the bottle because a lot of these manufacturers were actually not making it in the way that it was supposed to be, protecting your skin. Well, for two years, we've been without this bad boy. And as of recent, a lot of Korean brands have been finally reformulating their sunscreens and making sure it's going through adequate testing to make sure it is the accurate SPF rating on the label. So let me introduce to you guys the Claire's All Day Airy Sunscreen. Here she is, beautiful, same white bottle, except now it has kind of a yellow accent opposed to the metallic accent, and obviously size difference. The original used to be 80 millimeters, 2.7 fluid ounces, and now the new one is 50 grams and 1.76 ounces. This one used to retail for around $23. This one retails for $21, so a couple bucks less, but it's also a little smaller. Sorry, could you say that again? What? Sorry, I'm having I didn't ask you for anything. So, we're gonna cover this sunscreen today. So I'm gonna show you guys how this applies on itself, how it reapplies on top of itself, and how it wears with makeup. And I'm gonna compare it to the original. I'm so excited. So let's get down with the information and then we'll go into the face test. Before I get into the video, I'm gonna ask you to please hit that subscribe button and like this video and leave a lovely comment telling me how much you enjoyed this video and anything else you want to see from me in the future or near future. All right, let's go. So in addition to it being smaller, but being, you know, like two bucks less, it also has something that this didn't have and that's this had fragrance in it. It had orange fruit oil, which gave it fragrance. It was not essential oil free. This guy is essential oil free. So for those who are sensitive to fragrance, you're not gonna have to worry with this new formulation. It is fragrance free and essential oil free. In addition, it is also oil free in general. This actually used to have sea buckthorn oil, which I really loved. I love the effects of sea buckthorn oil, but some individuals don't want oil. And this guy is oil free, no oils whatsoever, just extracts and that's sunscreen base. So the original, I'm gonna read off the ingredients here. The original actually had niacinamide, adenosine, panthenol, sea buckthorn oil, like I mentioned. Now the new one has a couple of those same ingredients, but it has even more extracts. It, this definitely has more bang for the buck. So I'm gonna read it off. It still has niacinamide, but it also has glycerin to hydrate the skin. It also has adenosine as well. And it also has portulaca olacea. I forget how to say that. I totally butchered it. But it's a very good ingredient for evening out skin tone. In addition, it also has aloe extract. It has Diosoria haponica extract, Laminaria haponica extract, um, Viola flower extract, Omis davidiana extract, Depotasium, also licorice root extract, which is really good for um, fading hyperpigmentation. It also has Lipidium mayeni root extract. See, it also has lithium Chinese fruit extract, which is actually, I know that one. It is high in vitamin C, so it's gonna help even out skin tone and brighten up your skin tone. It also has strawberry fruit extract, as well as Morris Nigra fruit extract and Berberis vulgaris fruit extract. So it does have a lot more extracts to give you hydration and some skin tone evening benefits and antioxidant protection throughout the day. Although skincare extracts in sunscreen don't really do it for me, I care more about the protection than anything. But if, I, that was upside down, I'm sorry. But if that's important to you, just know that the new formulation has more bang for the buck compared to the old formulation. But let's get into the UV filters. 
Now, UV filters. The new UV filters in the Claire's All Day Airy Sunscreen Reformulation actually consists of three of them. Uvinol A+, Uvinol T150, and Tinosorb S. Compared to the old formulation that only had two UV filters, and that was Uvinol T150 and Uvinol A+. So the old one had two UV filters, this one now has three. Okay, so let's get into the review and the testing of each sunscreen on different days. Okay, so day one, we applied this sunscreen in the three finger method, how to get the appropriate amount on your face. And with this one, it's really easy to get the appropriate amount because as you can see from the footage, it just sinks into the skin like a gel. And it is a gel cream, it's a water-based gel texture. So it just sinks in. So you can put tons and tons for your first application and it's not gonna feel heavy and it's gonna feel just really nice. So in comparison to the original formula, the original formula actually felt thicker and gave a dewier finish. The Claire's All Day Airy Sunscreen New Reformulation actually feels lighter and gives more of a natural finish opposed to a dewy finish. But it still makes you look really plump and dewy, but just not as dewy as the original UV Essence. So after I applied it thoroughly on my face, I just went about my day, and like I said, it applied magnificently, very similar to the old formulation, just even faster and felt just much lighter. I just love the feel of it. It's like the perfect sunscreen at the end of your routine. It is just great, and it reminds me a lot of what I loved about the old original formula. Easy to apply, super airy and soft, and no fuss, no muss. So I wore it for a couple of hours before I reapplied it, and I have to say, I quite enjoyed it. No eye irritation, and honestly, it just fit with my routine. No pilling whatsoever. It was just a really good game player with my routine, with the morning, and just initial application. So it was a pass for just one application. Okay, day two. So I reapplied the sunscreen on top of itself. Now, what we're looking for reapplying on itself is we want to see, does it pill? Does it build a white cast? Does it start looking heavy? Does it feel heavy? And here's my take on reapplying. Basically, the way it reapplied was just like the first time I applied it. It just went on, immediately sunk in so quickly. Didn't interact with what was going on with my skin after the first application. It really just was like a second skin. Did it pill? It did not pale, so we have that phew. And usually I look for pilling around the jawline and I kind of like do this to see if there's any pilling. No pilling whatsoever, it was just magnificent on top of itself. So if you're just using the sunscreen to apply and not even use it with makeup, this is a good one. Now, when it comes to eye irritation, Here's my take. It has three UV filters that are not commonly or not at all used in Western parts. Basically, those really bother my eyes, but the ones from Korea never bother my eyes. Now, the thing is, I say that, but it's back when we were using sunscreens that weren't even the accurate SPF rating. So it never used to bother my eyes because there was probably very little of that UV filter in there. Now, when I use this guy, it has an extra uh, UV filter that's not supposed to sting your eyes or anything. And now, I will say this. So far, I've tried other Korean sunscreens that have similar UV filters, and they all kind of make my eyes a little watery. Some more than others, some very little. But they're extremely bearable compared to the Western ones, like to, like um, Avo Benzone and Octocrylin, those make me octa cry. Now that is for my individuals who are like, I this one used to never bother my eyes and this one now kind of bothers my eyes. And that's the thing. I think now that we're actually having a sunscreen that is actually formed appropriately, we're going to have that sensitization with the chemical UV filters in here. And that's just part of it. So one way you can um, kind of mitigate that is be very careful when you apply around your eyes because you should be applying around the orbital bone. You can also set it with a powder to minimize transfer into your eye so it doesn't move around all day. You can also use a mineral sunscreen around your eye and then go with the chemical sunscreen all around the face just to prevent any of that yuckiness. But basically it is very bearable. Even for me, it bothered my eyes just a little bit after 
second reapplication and going outside to walk. It did kind of have that, but it's so bearable. I will still continue to use this even over my eyes. But if I want a really stress-free day with no, no sensitization whatsoever, I'm definitely going to use a mineral sunscreen and continue using this just because it's so elegant. So with that being said, yes, bother my eyes, but I'm still going to continue to use it. But for a lot of people, the new Korean sunscreens that are coming out that are actually formulated well are not bothering many people's eyes. I seem to be in the minority. So if there's any of those out there that are like wondering why does it bother no one's eyes except me you're not alone the chemical uv filters do bother me even though they're from korea and they're amazing uv filters that don't break down that easily in the presence of rays of the sun's rays whether they're aging or burning rays uva or uvb so just know that you're not alone but this is still a magnificent sunscreen so day two reapplying was great didn't pill Slightly stings my eyes due to the nature of chemical UV filters, but that's it. And all in all, it applied well. Okay, now let's talk about one a lot of people really want to hear. How did this sunscreen act with makeup on top? All right, let's go. All right, so I applied one of my favorite tinted moisturizers, the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Foundation Stick. It's basically a tinted moisturizer on the go. So I did one layer on each face and blended it out with my hands and I looked in a compact mirror just to see if it attached any dry patches, you know, looked weird, was hard to blend out. And basically, here's what happened. So it blended out like a dream, didn't have any tugging, didn't have this weird reaction with the sunscreen, so it was perfect. So that is a tinted moisturizer, so it's very hydrating. And so I looked around to see if it pilled did not pale, so that was wonderful. And because the sunscreen is a natural to dewy finish, and the tinted moisturizer I use has a dewy finish, they both complemented each other perfectly and led to just a really nice, hydrated looking skin. It was beautiful. And I tried to see if it attached to any dry patches or any of that, it didn't. It all worked in unison perfectly, and I wouldn't think twice about using both in conjunction again. So I applied it, and then used it and wore it for like four or five hours. I went for a walk outside, and then I checked it, checked in on it later on. And this sunscreen, because it's natural finish, it's not gonna have any like longevity kind of benefit. So it's not gonna enhance the wear of your tinted moisturizer or foundation or any complexion product, but it is gonna give it that nice hydrated base so that when you lay it, it just is perfect and that makes it look even more like skin. Also, the sunscreen is not blurring, so it's not gonna help with any of that textural issues you may wanna tackle or any blurring effects. So you have to rely on your makeup product to do that. But all in all, this sunscreen really helped my tinted moisturizer kind of still have that dewiness factor to it and just have a hydrated base. So whatever went on top of it just looked nice and hydrated and like skin. All in all, using that Complexion Rescue Stick, my tinted moisturizer, with the sunscreen didn't affect it negatively in any way. But like I said, if you want blurring or longer lasting effects on your complexion products, definitely look for something more matte and that has blurring powers in it. This sunscreen is just meant to be hydrating and just a daily go-to sunscreen that feels lightweight. But if you like that dewy natural finish, this one works really well with any type of complexion product. Specifically, I use it with a tinted moisturizer, so that was a pass. So guys, all in all, this sunscreen was really nice to use, and I'm so happy we finally got it reformulated, and Claire's finally has one. I'm so happy. And the fact that it's fragrance-free, essential oil-free, oil-free, is still pretty hydrating, has lots more antioxidants than the original formula, and has an extra UV filter just to give you proper UVA and UVB protection all around. I'm sold. I am sold. I really love this new formulation. I do miss the old metallic kind of look and feel. It felt much more modern. This feels a lot more fun, but I'm okay with it. And I really do love the formula, guys. I think they did a really good job, and I highly recommend you go get it. Honestly, 10 out of 10. It could be bigger. It could have more, so you can use it more but that would be the only con to this. It has protection, antioxidants, and works well applied, reapplied, and under makeup. And you can also try putting this on top of your makeup with a beauty blender or a cotton puff, and I promise you, it will work because it is that beautiful texture that just works in those instances of reapplication on top of complexion products. 
Honestly, guys, I'm going to be taking this on my road trip that I'm leaving on Wednesday. I'm so excited. And this one is going to be there. So I'm going to be reapplying it on the road. All right, guys. But that's my review on the new Claire's All Day Airy Sunscreen Reformulated Sunscreen. It is a good one. Highly recommend it. I will link it down below. I do have some affiliate links down below with some discount codes. Uh, I do get a small commission when you use them. But... No big deal, but every time you use them, it does support my channel. So thank you in advance. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me. Stay doing.